All right. So won't work. And we're gonna just forget about this converter here for a minute. Because it's probably not the right one anyway. And this one. I'm gonna shove that all the way into the transmission again. measure it a few more times. I think I'm going to take this plate off. Let's see how thick that plate is. That's 0.73. So it's not much, but it's at least, you know, a washer. I'll probably wind up taking that off for sure. Okay, it's started, but it hasn't clicked or anything. That's one click. fingers in here. So you can kind of see how far in it is. seated. Okay, I got it zeroed out. Now, put it on this. All right, that's reading nine, eight, eight. Jeez. Down here an inch. <clears throat> All right, so these are both seventeen and three eighths across. Supposed to measure from center to center at 17 and 3 eighths, and that's 17 and 3 eighths. So these are both, according to this, the 164 tube. Okay. So according to this also, this one is the early and this one is the late. And when I measure here to the bolt, this one is six and a quarter. When I measure here to the bolt, this one is six, or actually five and seven eighths. 
So there's only a small difference in the two, but so what's the That's an inch and an eighth to the shaft. And that's an inch and 13 sixteenths to the shaft. So that's an 11 sixteenths difference from the depth of the shaft. So after looking things over and doing those measurements and calculations, it's the measurement from it's the measurement from uh, the shaft to here that gets me. It's because uh, it has to shove almost all the way back, and I measure down into the torque converter, and it. I think it's not bottoming out back here because there's several inches back underneath the seal here where the pump engages. But it has to, it, it bottoms out right here on the shaft. So there's really no, you can't pull it forwards 11 sixteenths, okay? So this bell housing isn't going to work. This transmission, I, I'm not sure how I would even find a bell housing, if I could even find a bell housing that would work for this. I'll have to find a torque converter that's specific to this transmission and housing. But until then, I'm pretty much stuck trying to fix See, the guy I bought this from said it ran for his dad um, but he was gonna go ahead and rebuild it anyway so I guess I'm just gonna throw this one this torque converter and this transmission throw this transmission in the car and see how it holds up and because I want to get the engine in the car so when I finally get the um, this transmission figured out then I'll put it in later. That's the plan. There's really not a good way to get this thing lined up. You reach in here and turn this when it's pulled out this far. I think that one right there is.
Okay, it's turning without making noise. That's good. Got the two shims in it. Could probably use a good torque down. But it's getting late, so I think I'm gonna stop here. All right, I couldn't help it. I stayed out late. Got the bolts in and the nuts in and they're tightened down. And it rotates, engine rotates pretty easy. All the bolts are in for the bell housing, tight. And I guess I could check the starter when I come back. See how that works. But I think it's gonna be okay because I, I could reach back here and spin it pretty easy. It wasn't making any noise. And I think it's between 1 16th and 3 16th is the uh, gap it needed. And I'm pretty sure that since it was barely touching this um, and I added this uh, extra shim, that that was enough to get my 16th. So it should be okay. So I'm gonna stop there for the <clears throat> excuse me for the day. We get something to eat. Well, I'm back from eating, and the table didn't make it. <laughs> it's busted and. If I hadn't left it on the hoist, probably would have hit the floor. Pretty possible that I busted it when I was putting it together. Looks like I better put the starter in. And I think those headers might have to come in from below. It certainly is confusing which way to go with it. Okay, so here's the situation. It's hitting on that flywheel guard and it's hitting right there. So I'm gonna tighten the chain a little bit more and I'm gonna get under here and wiggle it around. Well, 
so much for that. Oh, just dropped in all by itself while I was on my way up. So much for that K member being out of the way. That's in the first notch, not the, not the second one back. Make sure people are putting in the second one back. Quite close. Let's see what's going on on the other side there. It needs to twist counterclockwise from here. I put this bolt in. <laughs> Deal with it. That's the starter wire. Oh man, that's tight. That wasn't supposed to go there. Gonna have to fix that first. All right, got the starter wire unplugged. Now we gotta get that to twist. Let's get a little weight off of it. Crap, came out. Oh. 
man, I need more than one hand. Or more than two hands, actually. So I figured before I get too far with the headers, I better test fit everything else anyway. And this transmission needs to go back, looks like at least a, another half inch. So, Might need to try to get that engine mount. This bolt into that hole, which is gonna be hard because it's that red flywheel guard is hitting everything. It's hitting here and it's hitting up on the top. It's in the way. Might not be able to use it. Another thing I should try is uh, taking those mounts out and put it in the shorter mounts because I might be able to get it to come back another half an inch or inch if I can drop it down another half an inch. Okay, so um, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, the headers, like I said, aren't gonna work. And I don't believe there's any amount of bending that's gonna make them work. They're way off. Uh, but, <clears throat> worst case scenario, I got these I can throw on. At least it won't be running right off of the head. It'll it'd be at least running off of some kind of header. So I, you know, if I get far enough where I can actually get this thing running, I'll probably slap these on. So I already checked, they'll slide right in. I'm not sure if I'll have to remove something that I put on later, like the alternator and stuff, which I plan on trying to figure out. Um, but I'm just gonna kinda work at it and I don't even know what direction I'm gonna go next. Tell you the truth. This is a really good camera, I guess, and you can watch the videos, but I don't know how to set it, so the ports look pretty good.
That's the port matching. It looks exceptional. That's the alternator bracket and tensioner, and it's a one wire Chevy alternator. I gotta put this on, and I'm not sure how because it, I probably lost the instructions. I have to look them up now. That's for the power steering. I'm pretty sure it goes here and here. Well, I got a minor setback. Disappointing. These headers are for a manual transmission. So I can't use them. I went to try to put them in and they didn't fit, so I looked it up. And these are manual transmission only headers. So I gotta find automatic transmission 351 swap headers. Wish I'd have known that. Didn't know there was a difference. So where I got the <coughs> engine at is in the first notch. And the reason it's there is because I'm supposed to have that flywheel guard and that is, I mean, it's almost touching. It's very close and with the transmission um, mount, it won't. The transmission is not going to go lower, and I'm not sure I'd want it to. It. Uh, I'll have to get under the car. So it's rubbing pretty good right here. In fact, to the point where it's kind of bending this it's got room here and I think that's just because of the way that the tunnel is the tunnel is just shaped differently over here and you can see the daylight there when I uh, when I try to go back further it hits and it won't go back far enough get to the next pole okay then this is the transmission mount it's in this position it's supposed to be in except for it looks like they used to be bolted back here for the if I was to make it to the next notch the hole would the bolts would go here so we're talking about an inch I need to measure from here to here, or I could eventually I could just pull that drive shaft out from the notch and see if it fits. But I got other things that I wanted to look at, so I don't know that I'm gonna do that.
tight. It's gonna need a little bit of a bump in the hood. But that's a ways away. Maybe a two inch. We'll see. in the house editing the video and I realized that the photos really suck. So this is where I'm at. I uh, didn't record putting this together and this together for some reason. I guess I just forgot. That's the alternator mount and the power steering is going to go here and I ordered a power steering pump that's chrome so I'm gonna have to put the ugly one on from the van. And uh, this isn't bolted in yet, but it fits. I'm kinda happy that, because I was worried about that. There's about a, I don't know, an inch and a half right there. So, um, I gotta make a line to go here and over here to the carburetor and some wiring. I gotta wire a bunch of stuff in. But that's where I'm at. That's what I got done on my day off. This is a side view. And right about there. I mean, it might need a pretty big cowl to fit that air filter. So, I don't know if the one I got is going to work. And I still haven't got to this yet. I'm just saying that. But I got distracted because the engine came, got done. And I wanted to get it in the car. Didn't like coming into the building and seeing that engine sitting on the floor. So now if somebody wants to walk off with it, they have to pull it out of the car. That was a slight worry of mine. So I got to run the plug wires and the um, coil and a bunch of stuff. The radiator's got to go in. I got to figure out what belt size and length that I need, which might take a couple trips to the store. This is an oil pressure sending unit. I spent most of the day looking for, uh, I'm supposed to have two of these because that the uh, same one will go right here. It'll stick out quite nasty like, but that'll tell the computer what the fuel pressure is. And then I got that. I got that filter for the dump truck a long time ago and it didn't fit because the grommet was too big. and. Now I'm going to have to go back through, I think I got it on Amazon, and figure out where I got it and get another one for right here. So that's the update. Have a good night.